So today, viewers, I thought we would take a look at another action figure guidebook. The Ultimate Guide to Vintage Star Wars Action Figures 1977 through 1985 by Mark Bellamo. And I first became aware of um, Mark through a uh, YouTube documentary called Collectible Spectacle, which was released in 2009, back in the early days of YouTube, and it featured several different collectors, one of which was Mark, and uh, showcased their collection and just listened to them talk about collecting and so, and so forth. And um, Mark was uh, had a very impressive vintage toy collection, kind of an all-encompassing, comprehensive um, collection, um, featuring Star Wars, but also G.I. Joe, Transformers, and some more obscure kind of stuff as well. This book I would describe as kind of a hybrid. It's kind of one part um, action figure guide or uh, about the toy line, and it's one part character source book that goes into um, the biographies and various details of um, the characters' backgrounds really reminds me of the Star Wars source book from West End Games, released in 1987. Does anybody else remember that book or have it today? I remember it was um, really kind of a bright spot in an otherwise uh, dark landscape of uh, what you would call the dark times when there was very little S Star Wars um, on the market. But that's what this this book kind of reminded me of when I first got it. I was like, "Oh, this is this is like a source book." And um, I have to admit, I was uh, expecting some. I was more interested in learning more about the toy, the Kenner toy line. Um, and then I got it, and I was like, "Oh, this is a this is a source book," or like it's more of a. Um, goes into the uh, character background does include pricing information uh, pricing information is always Im like immediately dated especially in the time of uh, eBay where you can just look up uh, sold or completed listings of things Size Noodles and the Rebo Band action figure set. So this book does go, not only goes into the um, figures and characters, but it also goes into the play sets and vehicles as well. And it, it goes over some of the major variations and um, and figures and accessories blue lightsaber green lightsaber Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight outfit has some nice photography The uh, text includes a lot of cr cross-referencing to other characters and uh, play sets. And the book is, is ha also has an index in the back that um, you can look up various informations. I would recommend this book, but uh, just know that it's what you're getting it's more more like a uh, um, the, the text is devoted the majority of the text is devoted to the character backgrounds biographies a 
Here's Han Bespin. It also includes some information and details about the costumes characters wore. But again, that's also in the context of the, um, the background information about the characters. It organizes the um, the figures, the order, the sequence of the figures according to the re release of the movies and the release of whatever wave that they came in. Here's Luke Bespin, my favorite figure. First card appearance, 31 card. Hair color variations, different shades of yellow and brown, and it features some of the some nice photography of the variants. It's hardly, it's not all um, encompassing as far as what uh, the variations they feature though. Here we go, here's some pricing information from 2014. Brown hair, 375 to 400. Blonde hair, 275 to 325. That's for mint on card. One wishes you could get those, you could get those for that price today. Here's Boba Fett. First appearance, mail away. First card appearance, 21 card. Here's the index. There's the Tatooine skiff. Ewok playset. There's the Cloud City playset. Sears exclusive Cloud City playset. I've done a couple showcases of this on my channel. Mint and seal box 1200 to 1500 in 2014. So as an example, I'll uh, read a little bit from the Luke Bestman uh, entry. So here's the Luke Bestman entry. The simple unadorned fatigues worn by Kenner's third version of Luke Skywalker not only reflects his formal ascendancy to the position of Rebel Commander, but this attire also subtly alludes to the warm khaki colored uniform utilized by Padawan learners, Jedi in training, quote, before the dark times, before the Empire. In the swamping climb of Dagobah, see Dagobah action playset, Luke dons a modest jacket, plain pants, simple boots, and a white tank top undershirt, clothing which reflects a transitional period for the galaxy's last hope as Luke moves from acolyte to adept, from recruit to veteran by the end of Empire Strikes Back. 
After, after he's urged to visit Dagobah, a human jungle, humid jungle planet located within the galaxy's outer rim, by the spirit of his former tutor, see Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke tra travels with R2-D2, see R2-D2 with sensor scope, to the swamp world, where he seeks out the Grandmaster Yoda, a peculiar being who formerly leads Luke down the path to becoming a Jedi Knight. So that's kind of a representative example of the uh, text entries for a figure. I would recommend this book, but uh, just know that it's mostly uh, background information about the characters. I also recommend that documentary, that YouTube documentary called Collectible Spectacle that features Mark Bellamo in it. I remember seeing that in like the summer of 2009 and um, it sort of got me back into collecting. Just hearing collectors like Mark, um, who's a real enthusiast for these vintage toys, talk about the toys and, the, and their history um, really sort of uh, rekindled my interest in collecting. Do you have this book? What are your thoughts on it? And what other Star Wars action figure guides do you recommend? Please leave a comment and thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out my other vintage Star Wars videos and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.